Hey everybody, Andrew here with Get Together Gardening, and today we're going to talk about planting garlic. But before we put anything into the ground, there's a couple of things we have to talk about first. So let's move in for a closer look. The first thing that we need to understand is that there are two main types of garlic. The first one is hard neck, and the second one is soft neck. Hardneck garlic grows larger bulbs around a center stem, whereas softneck garlic kind of grows more in a cluster. The main difference between these two varieties is their ability to grow in cold weather. So softneck garlic is really good for southern climates, anything zone seven and below, this is gonna be a good choice whereas hardneck garlic is best for northern climates, anything above zone seven, maybe including zone seven. But this hardneck garlic has very good frost resistance, so it's gonna be able to withstand the colder winters that we get up here. The garlic that I have here is certified seed garlic, and this is different from the garlic that you would buy at a grocery store. In theory, you could plant garlic from the grocery store, but using certified seed garlic might help you have a better harvest. When garlic farmers harvest their crop, they split it up into two different categories. All the smaller bulbs get classified as culinary garlic and get sent to the grocery store. But all the bigger bulbs, they save for themselves to plant again for the next season. So using something that's classified as certified seed garlic is going to help you have a better harvest because the bigger cloves are going to help increase the chance that you will get a bigger bulb of garlic. Before I started gardening, I didn't even know that seed garlic was a thing. So if you wanna try using seed garlic, you might be questioning, where do I even get it? The best places that I found are, one, check your local farm and garden center. It's always good to support the local guys. Or two, you can look online. Uh, I've had some good success looking online at different distributors. One of my favorite is migardener.com. They have a nice variety and I like to try different things every year so it works out for me. As you can probably tell by all of the overgrowth and neglect, I am at the end of my growing season. Garlic is one of the last things that I plant and it gets planted middle to late fall. So end of October, early November. Uh, that's what usually works for me and you want to pick a spot that has full sun so i'm going to be planting it yeah, about about here i'm probably going to pull out the the kale and put my garlic there and clean up some of this mess you want full sun because like onions most of the growth is happening underground so you want the leaves to be able to take as much energy as they can to send to the bulb underground Now's a good time to briefly touch on companion planting. So there's some certain things that you shouldn't plant garlic with. These things include beans, peas, sage, parsley, asparagus, melons, um, other alliums like onions and shallots. So you want to keep this in mind when picking a spot to plant your garlic. If you plant these things too close together, you risk them leaching nutrients from each other and it can also spread diseases which the garlic would be more susceptible to and end up ruining your crop. When we plant garlic we put it in the ground and basically wait nine months so we have to make sure our soil is properly amended because it's doing most of the work. You can add things like compost, blood meal, or worm castings to help revitalize your soil. I'm also going to be using some perlite for drainage. You want to use about a cup per cubic foot. For fertilizer, I'm going to be using my triple 10, about a quarter cup per every cubic foot. And then in the spring, when I need to add more fertilizer, I'm going to be using this 825 because it is pretty high in nitrogen. I cleaned up my area and I have amended my soil. And now it's time to plant the garlic. So you're going to take your bulb and remove a clove from it. And you want to try to keep as much skin 
on the clove as possible. This is going to help protect it from disease when it is planted. And when you plant it, you want to keep this pointed part facing up and the bottom of the clove where the roots originally come out of the bulb of garlic, you want that facing down. So it should be planted in the ground just like this. For spacing, I like to put them between four and six inches apart. And as far as depth, you want to push them down into the ground about two inches. Once they're in the ground, you want to give them some water. Regular watering is about an inch per week, but because we plant these in the fall and they get overwintered, you want to stop watering before you get any frost. The last thing you'll want to do is cover your garlic with some type of mulch to insulate it over the winter. I'm going to use straw and you want to cover it with a pretty thick layer, probably about like six inches. The insulation is going to keep them a little bit warm and this is going to help them go dormant without dying. And that's all there is to it. In the spring, I'll make a video about how to take care of the garlic as it's coming out of dormancy. But for now, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and let me know if you like the video. As always, thanks for watching and happy growing.